Greetings, brothers and sisters. The word for today is this. What am I or what are we doing to please the heavenly father? I will repeat that again. What am I or we doing to please the heavenly father? I know that's kind of an ironic message because this is Father's Day. Happy Father's Day to all of the fathers. Our Heavenly Father is worthy of being praised. Our Heavenly Father is worthy of being uplifted. Brothers and sisters, ladies and gentlemen, body of believers, you and I have to ask ourselves this question. What are we doing to please the Heavenly Father? Are we thanking the Heavenly Father for waking us up? Are we thanking the Heavenly Father for blessing us to be a blessing to others. Oh, I know this is a, this is a right on time message. It might seem tight, but it sure is right. When you think about that question being asked, you may say, what do you mean? Well, To please the Heavenly Father would mean that you and I are concerned about the things that are happening with mankind. That means God loves those that are sick, the poor, the ostracized, the marginalized. God would not want us to turn our backs on someone that is in need. We know the scripture tells us that if you see your brother or sister in need and we have earthly substance, you and I are to bless them. The scripture also tells us that the same comfort that God gives us, that we are to extend that same comfort unto others. I know what you're thinking because, you know, you may say, let somebody else deal with the homelessness. Let law enforcement do what law enforcement does. I know. Some of you think that you have to have a degree in showing empathy. Some of you think that you have to have some type of certification in order to have compassion for the people. I know some of us think that we are to only clothe the poor, clothe the sick, only when it's around the holiday times. I know, I know some of us, we have gotten above where it is that we should be. And so it's quite ironic that the Lord would ask that question on this very Father's Day. What are we doing to please him? Are we being dismissive? Are we being, uh, you know, we see an elderly person and we see them carrying groceries, do we not try to provide aid or assistance? 
with him or her carrying their groceries to the car? If someone has been directly impacted, meaning via gu gun violence, we have a lot of brutality that is taking place. As a matter of fact, we know these are the things that are existing in a lot of the inner and urban cities, the inner and urban communities. And sometimes we can see a thing transpiring and we can see a thing happening that we think we won't be ever caught up or involved with that. I know it kind of goes back to what I just said a few minutes ago. The reason why some of us can be dismissive is, is because to be honest with you, some of us operate in a me, myself and I mindset. As long as the issue is not knocking at our front door, as long as the issue is not affecting me, then we who say that we are Christ followers, somehow, some way, we become nonchalant. We become, oh, that's not my issue. And then sometimes we use prayer as a prerequisite to justify why we choose to ignore a thing. Yeah, yeah, that is not how you and I should be operating. I know, I know, we, we, we say let the experts, let the specialists, let those who have this criteria, let them fix the things that's going on and that's happening in the communities. But brothers and sisters, the Bible says, greater is he that is within me than he that is in the world. What is this greatness that agape love? What is that greatness, the compassion? What is that greatness, the empathy? What is that? What is, what, what is that greatness for us to manifest and to show the love of God, to show the love of Christ? I know we think because we don't have to deal with these things personally that somehow, some way that that justifies it, 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 it nullifies our legitimacy and our justification on why we choose to continue to behave the way that we are. See, ladies and gentlemen, you, you can sit there, you can attempt or to ignore that these issues uh, don't exist, but they do. That is why when you think about the beloved King Solomon, he was a man of God. He asked God for wisdom because he understood that justice is a kingdom thing. I don't know where you might be at, on, this, on, on the side of your political uh, 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 preference or your denomination, that right there, even with what your preference is on which side that you choose, Republican, Democrat, or whatever, or whatever your uh, set of denominational barrier uh, 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 is, however, God is concerned about the ills of mankind. He's concerned about the orphans. He's concerned about those that are sick. You remember the story when Jesus went to the man that was a, uh, that was a leopard at the pool of Bethesda. Do you remember the experience of the, end of the man who was blind? Yeah, I know. We think that somehow, some way, that the things that are going on today have no relevance to the word of God. Ladies and gentlemen, we've got to stop having an A in religion and, st and start having the kingdom mind. Yes, we need to upgrade our mindset. We need to upgrade our way of thinking for it to be a way of the kingdom. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, 
That question that God has asked is, what are we doing to please him? As we go out through the rest of this week, we need to ask ourselves, what am I doing to please the heavenly father? Am I being dismissive? Am I not loving thy neighbor as I do myself? Am I choosing to pick a holiday only of when it is to show comfort, edification? Am I extending the same grace that God extends me? Am I extending that same grace unto others? Do I turn my back and choose to ignore? Am I choosing to have a blind eye about the ills, the things that are plaguing our communities? Am I choosing to skip, hop, skip, pass when I see my brother or my sister is in need? Do I skip and, and dismiss the fact of providing edification and comfort? Am I choosing to not show compassion the way that Christ would? Solomon, King Solomon, was a wise man because he knew that he was a king and he knew that he was going to be placed into conditions that where he was going to have to render justice. Why? Because love is justice and justice is love. And God is just as concerned about justice. So I challenge you the rest of this week, you ask yourself this question. What am I doing to please the Heavenly Father? Go in grace, peace and blessings. Let us continue to focus and let us to continue to press toward the mark of the high calling that we may have a kingdom mindset, that we may have the right mindset that is pleasing, that we might have the right mindset, that we become the vessels of hope, that we become the vessels of restoration, that we become the vessels of life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. Peace and blessings. Where's the love at? Where's the love at? Brothers Where's and sisters, at? We, we as the body of Christ we need to cover Why our cities defend? with prayer, speaking to the ills of the mankind, consecrating the these streets, at? restoring the hope at? in the community. We hate Let's continue to keep the Hope Life Project in prayer as God continues to provide provision to be able to meet the needs of the people. Also, the Life Hope Project Bible Drive. Please reach out to us at yourbreathoflife at gmail.com as we are taking up a collection of 500 Bibles to win souls back into the kingdom of God.